Welcome Smackers, Kevin Smack here. Today we're going to be talking more about creative mode. So just check this video out and I'm sure it's going to answer any questions that you have on how to build in creative mode for Minecraft. I mean Fortnite. So here we are at the main screen. All you want to do is switch this and choose creative or you could go into creative early on. It's up to you. Once you get in here, go ahead and choose play and we're going to go ahead and go to our own server here. So we'll do start a server and we'll launch up. So we'll get to our island and I'll be right there. Uh, we're getting a load screen. Some people are getting a load screen and getting stuck on this. If that's the case, I'll put a video up there that may help. It seems like it's helping some, but not all. So hopefully that'll help you out. Here we are. We go up to uh, our rift here and there is featured rifts in the back. So we're gonna go ahead and just choose our rift for now. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and choose Island 2. I don't have anything on Island 2, so we'll do that one. So this is what the island looks like. You have a huge area up here, which is pretty cool. It's fun to build stuff up here that slopes down like ramps and stuff. Maybe make them slippery. The frost stuff. It's pretty fun. So this is basically the size of the island. It's, you know, not real huge, but it's good enough. You'll see the memory used. That's how much room we have to work with. I'm sure that'll go up as the game gets more smooth and they get better with stability. So here I'll tell you to open up your inventory. For me, it's I. I believe that's the default. You may have changed it, but I is going to go through and show you these tabs across the top. We have prefabs, which are basically things that are built for you, so you could just place them. We have devices, which are going to be like your cars, your planes, fun stuff like that. And they're going to always be adding more stuff. Traps, turrets, respawn, pads. And then next we have weapons, basically all your weapons you need. Consumables, everything that's consumable. Pretty simple there. And then chests and llama. You can go ahead and add stuff to those. So we're going to go through all of these here and show you how everything works. So for the prefabs, you can go ahead and select the place. We'll go ahead and select this here and choose equip. And then we'll go ahead and choose back. So now it's going to be just like a port of fort So we're going to go ahead and choose six. We'll say over here looks good. So we'll come over here. And you just click and hold. And when you find where you want to go, you let it go just like a port of fort and it's going to build. While it has the blue glow, that means it's being constructed. It doesn't happen instant, but it happens pretty quick. Got some nice lights here as well, which is pretty awesome. So you do have a phone as well. So if you go ahead and equip the phone, which is going to be uh, whatever your second key is, it may just be the number two. Whatever you click on, one that's highlighted, it's going to copy that. So let's go ahead and copy this wall. And now we can go ahead and place another one of that wall and another one here so now we can have like a little area here and we'll go back to we'll say that's enough of that and we'll right click and there we go so now we have like a little area cut here so think of it kind of like copy and paste on a computer you just copy it and then you click where you want it to paste and you can also do other things on this side so here you can use f to push C to pull, R to rotate one way, Z to rotate the other way. You can use tab to switch, to roll if need be, uh, G to drop, and V to snap on a grid. So we'll turn V on. That makes it so you can't put it in the air because it's going to snap to the ground. And if drop is turned on if drop is turned off it's going to snap it in the air and then you have collision as well see they stack like they're an actual object so they will pile up with collision if you have that turned on and you can see the memory is getting used a little bit by placing this but these are small things so you're not going to notice a lot right click to exit and then you're back to copy or cut if you use cut, that basically means you are taking the wall off and you're going to place it somewhere else. So that doesn't look right. So let's cut it again and we'll put it right back to where it was. Or we will try. 
and then paste. Close enough. <laughs> you get the idea. Uh, and then we'll right click to be done with that. So with the prefabs, you do have all the buildings here. You have all the new areas that are in the cold zone. You have some obstacle courses. These are cool because they got like bounce pads on them and stuff. A lot of fun. You have prefabs, which are kind of like tiles of materials. And then you have some tilted tower stuff. You know, you have um, the gas station. Salty stuff. Retail. Lucky. Got a lot of different stuff. So you can go ahead and do this, for example. And we'll go over here. And again, it's gonna be like a port fort You find where it's at and you throw it. So it builds, that's why it's blue. We'll wait till it's done building. And then this would be, we would go up and we would just copy this. So we can go over here and we can place it where we'd like. Let's go ahead and place it here. There we go. So you can do that with the dragon if you'd like. You can do a whole bunch of other things. Another real popular one that people like is kind of like the Minecraft one, I call it. That's this one. So if we throw this one. The rough thing is, is picking this stuff up after you're done with it, to be honest. So don't go too crazy on this stuff, but this is cool, the Minecraft one. You pick which block you want, and then you can go ahead and make it. Also, just to mention, you can hit spacebar twice to fly, and then two more times to stop flying. Can do some cool stuff with that. So this way you can hide back here. There you go. So you can get back here, you can hide, and yeah, have a good time. <laughs> so that's option. Let's go ahead and keep going because I, I don't want this video to be too long, but I want to give you guys an idea of everything that's going on. So next is the devices. You can go ahead and place, I believe it's eight devices all together, which would be like planes or your quad crasher. You could do four of each of these if you'd like, or straight eight of planes or eight of quad crushers. You can also do the spawn pads. So basically how it works is, let's find a flat area. You just place it and it places a plane here. So if the plane breaks or anything like that, it will go ahead and build itself a new one. Same with the quad crashers, they'll do the same thing. So you don't have to go real crazy with these. I also say don't put them real close to each other because they get a little crazy. So just be careful with your building with those. With things like turrets and stuff, for some reason, some disappear and some don't. So just kind of keep that in mind because I wanted to make a place with turrets, you know, defending one base and defending the other and then basically the two bases go against each other. So that was my idea with turrets. But because it's a uh, consumable, it doesn't always stay there like others would. Kind of think of it like a, a bounce pad. It might just disappear. So with that said, let's go ahead and go to weapons. Weapons, before you start a game, you can go ahead and equip a bunch. The best way to do it, though, is with chests and llamas, though. I usually say to go ahead and equip one of these. Equip one of these. We need ourselves a P90. I always want to have a sniper rifle. And then if you just want to have fun, we'll do some bombs. So that's how we could start off. Or what we could do is go over here and we'll just add them to chests. So add the chest, add the chest, again, again, again. The thing with chests, be very careful. They can hold 50 items. So if you create 50 items and then you throw, say, 20 chests all over the place, there is a maximum amount of items that can be displayed at once. So what will happen is you open your chest, you'll start getting your equipment, 
and all of a sudden everyone else opens a chest and some disappear because there's too much too many items and then the other team opens their stuff and your stuff disappears so be very careful not to put too much stuff in the chest i would say like 10 things maybe maybe throw some consumables it's kind of cool like putting the shields and stuff like in the middle of the battles that way they have to kind of go after it uh, ammo i always said is infinite i do have a video on the settings as well that's why i'm not going through the settings i'll link that up here if you want to check that out it's very informative and it'll get you through everything so that's pretty much the weapons and the consumables like i said i would turn infinite ammo on it's just so much easier i don't usually use shields and i just put everyone at full shields but like I said, as bonuses, I might here and there. Uh, the only thing I really use here would be like a grappling hook. That would be cool. But I don't really use much of the others. But it's, it's each its own. So then we go ahead and choose create chest. And there it is. So now you want to make another chest. If you want to use the same thing, you can. Just bam. You want to make a llama with that stuff in? Bam. There you go. So it remembers it. So once you get the chest good... Put it everywhere you want to have those chests. Like I said, putting 50 items in is just kind of overkill. So that's pretty much everything there is to know about this. That's all you need to know. If you have any questions, please leave them below. But I think it's pretty simple and straightforward. It's a lot of fun. Some things that you may have questions with is maybe like the spawn pads. Uh, you can go ahead and equip one of those. You do have to throw one of these down first and then one of these. Wait till it's done building and then hold F to customize. Then here you go which team you want to play on this one. So if you're going if you're having a two team thing, you could choose team one or team two will spawn in this area. You can prioritize people. And then you can have use as island start on or off visible during game yes or no if you want to hide it you can turn it off so it's still going to spawn people but people aren't going to see what it looks like so that's up to you how you want to do it be careful when you do the spawns don't put all one team spawns next to each other it's a cool thing to do but then you have the other team camping this spawn so i've noticed that and it's it's kind of annoying and it's a hard thing to deal with uh, so make sure you're careful there so that's everything we need you're good to go. You can build whatever you want right now. And I want to see what you build. So if you build anything cool, let me know. I want to I want to know what you call it and everything in the comments. I'm going to have something published, I'm hoping within uh, before the end of the year because I do have a one I can publish so people can use because I have a my creator code kevinsmack.tv. So then if you're using my creator code, you'll get to use my island. My first island is going to be kind of like a four on a one on four type of base. And I can't wait to have it done. So I hope you enjoy it. Thanks everyone for stopping in. I appreciate it. And I will see you in the next one. As always, guys, smack out.